Hello everyone and welcome back to Film Sandwich. I'm Kid Ron Burgundy and on today's episode we're going to be talking about the Real C console. We're going to do another tutorial and this time we're talking about the floor plan um, section. So let's go ahead and dive into there. I will um, bring up my split view here and right here we're on the Real C.ai website. We're going to click on my account name there and open up the console. And now I'm going to go over here to my test project. And we're going to open that up there. And we see we have our little uh, display screen. I'm going to click on edit. All right. And we have uh, some sections over here on the side. We're going to click on floor plan. Right now we don't have any floor plans made, so we're going to go here to edit floor plan. And also down here you can also choose to hide your floor plan, and then you can display, uh, have certain options displayed here like name, area, ruler, length, and width. So we're going to go to edit floor plan. All right, so you can see you have your uh, little above shot of your model here. This is, you know, it's got a little living room here. This is the entrance. There's some stairs. There's a little den area. There's a dining room. There's a kitchen and a patio. So uh, what we're going to do here is they do have an option here that if you have everything, um, everything when you shot it perfect, you can click on plan generation and then it will generate some stuff here for you. Now, I don't have everything perfect. It did generate some stuff here, but I don't quite have everything here. There's probably some things that I did incorrectly during shooting, so that's why that is happening like that. If you look over in um, their support area, there's a list of everything that you have to do. If you look in the floor plan area in the little uh, overview. So I did put some stuff here, but I wanna go ahead and do this from scratch. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna clear all that. I'm just going to go in here and delete these. You can just click on them and click delete on your keyboard. It's a little quicker. You can also go up here and click on it and then it'll give you some options to delete, but you know, it's just a lot of steps. So we're going to go here, click on it and just hit delete. All right. So if you look up here, you got to save, you got to undo, you got to redo, you got to modify. Modify, you can rotate um, stuff around. That's if you already have some walls and stuff and you can mirror some things. Um, we already did the plan generation. And then set up if you want to choose to be uh, imperial instead of metric. And you can choose some different ruler types, wall modes, and font sizes. All right, we're going to go with large on the font size. Now, if you go over here to this AI detect here, this gives you some, uh, it detects your, your model and see if there's things missing or not connecting well. So you can actually go over here and see if everything is copacetic or not. Um, and if not, you can go down the list and go, oh, there's these things that aren't connected or are uh, you know, crossed in some way. All right, um, there is an older version here. I'm in the new version, this is what everybody's going to be using anyway, so I'm in here now. But if you wanted to go back to the old version, you can do that if you wanted to. Um, you can come over here to your floor attributes. You see you have a little display of your pano right there. You can choose if this is a single level or a split level or a duplex, loft. This is actually a split level. Um, and then you can input your floor sizes here. All right, you can add a little description label and then you have some canvas settings here. You can choose, you know, to have the original map there or not. You can have your points uh, showing there. Um, you can have load bearing walls showing, doors and windows, objects, entrance door tags. You get, you get it. You can check it if you want it. If you don't want it, you can uncheck it, all right? So now we've gone over there. This gives you some little shortcuts right here. So you can hit Q and you can add a straight wall or R, so on and so forth. If you want to be able to, if you're a shortcut user, then you can do that. You can zoom in here. You can also use the mouse scroll wheel. You can recenter your guy there, your little uh, model. And then if you have multiple floors, you can go here and you can you know, go right to that floor there. That's the second floor stuff that I've done. And then we're going to work on the first floor here. Um, 
if we're over here, you can see you have draw wall or draw a room. If you draw a room, you can go like drag over here and go, okay, that's this room right here, bam, right? But this area here is actually not, it's like a big open area, so there's no walls everywhere. But you can just go ahead and delete certain walls if you want, it looks like. All right, and if you wanna to go to just draw a wall, you can do that. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. I just wanna show you these other little things here. Um, this is a door if you wanna add certain kinds of doors, certain kinds of windows. Um, this is text if you wanted to click on there and you wanted to say, oh, I want to label this the den. I'll show you more about that later. This over here, you can add some different construction things like beams and columns and stuff like that. There's some more door options and window options here, but then there's also objects here. So if you have like, you know, a, a shoe cabinet or a tea table or a chair or a sofa or a sofa set, you can add those things into your floor plan, um, as well as the bed, the kitchen stuff, bath stuff, study room, storage, you get the picture, there's decorations, you can add staircases, the whole nine yards, all right? So um, that is over here, the little icon that looks like a chair, and then the construction stuff is actually this uh, four little guys right there. Oops, let's get rid of that. All right, so now let's go back over here to draw wall. So we're gonna draw some walls here. This is just my condo, so I, I know the place. So we'll start here. This is a wall here, wall. I'm just gonna go all the way around all of the wall area here. Now there's actually a little partition wall right there. And I'm gonna add, all right. Back to this. All right, so I'm drawing a wall here and over there, but if I'm done with that wall, see how it wants to pull that over? You can just right click and that'll stop that from happening. All right, so we're gonna do one more wall. From here is a little partition wall. All right, and then right click and that'll get rid of that. All right, so we got some walls here. Let me add some doors. So I'm gonna go over here to construction. I'm gonna get a single door. There's a little garage, a door that goes out to the garage there. There's a door. There's a front door, it's main entrance here. It's that way. And then we got a sliding glass door. So sliding door, that's gonna be right here. All right, and let me see, I'm gonna add some stairs. I got some stairs right there. So let's find objects and go to where the stairs are. There's a staircase and that staircase is gonna go up. We're gonna click that right there. We're gonna rotate it to where that arrow points to the direction that the stairs go. And then there's the stairs. All right, so we've added stairs. Um, so let's go ahead and add some um, other objects in here too. Like I got a sofa and a love seat right there. Let's find some living room things. Here we go. We'll go with sofa. That's a sofa set. Maybe I have just a single. Oh, sofa set too. Let's go here. We'll put that there. And then we can rotate that. Make it a little bigger. That kind of shows that little spot right there. All right, what else do we got? Uh, kitchen. So kitchen, we can do, let's do this right here. We'll bring that right over here. There's like a little counter space there. All right, bam. All right, so we got some stuff there. Um, let's do some more walls here. We're gonna draw the wall around the patio. I mean, it's like a screened in thing here and we'll add a door. There's like a little screen door there. All right, so I feel pretty good about that. So let's uh, label some areas here. So we got this other area. This is actually, we can name this since there's uh, multiple floors here, we're gonna call this first floor. First floor. 
this floor. Serial number, we'll call that one. And then you can add like, you know, the floor height and you can give like a XY location, stuff like that um, for that. So we're gonna move that right over here. Now I'm gonna label like the areas in this first floor. So let's go over here to the text and I can come over here and I can click on there, click again and I can type in living room. And now you can add a border if you want. Okay, so we got living room there. Let's add some more. We'll go over here, this will be the den. Call it the den. This will be the dining room. This is the Come on. All right. This is the kitchen. And we'll call this the patio. And we'll do one more. We'll call this the entrance. All right, so we've created some walls, we've created some windows, we've created some doors, we've labeled things, we've added a staircase. All right, we'll go to the second floor. All right, so here's the second floor. We'll zoom in a little bit. All right, so this is just kind of like the stairs, the hallway, another part of the hallway, and the bathroom. So we're gonna draw some walls here. There's a wall here. Walls, walls, some walls. Can I not do this? Oh, I see. So if you want to do a diagonal wall, you hold the mouse button down and let go. There we go. All right, there we go. That is a full area. So now let's go ahead and add some doors to some of these rooms here. So we got a door here and we got a door there to the bathroom and then there's another door here to a bedroom and there's another door here to another bedroom and then we'll add our stairs all right now we've had some stairs all right that is done, and we're gonna call this upstairs. You can label these whatever you want. That is just um, what I'm calling this area here. And we'll add a couple more little things here. You know, I, I didn't make the bathroom. Let's make the bathroom wall here. There we go. That is bathroom. Should have done that. All right, there we go. And we'll call this bathroom. And then I'm going to put just a label here that just says hall. Hall. All right, and we'll do one more so people know that this is also the hall area. Hall. All right. All right, so we've added some stairs, we've added some uh, labels here, and so we've done, we're done upstairs for now. And now this is downstairs. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just click on save now with some of my progress. 
Also on the side here, you can see that you can see your model here. You can change from model to panorama if you wanted to look around. You can also make that larger if you'd like or have it take over the whole screen. You can check it out there. All right, so if you wanted to rotate the uh, floor plan, you could go there and do that. If you did something incorrectly or if you just felt like rotating everything, you can also horizontally mirror it or you can vertically mirror it. Or if you just wanted to grab it and move it around, you can do it there with those modify tools. All right, so if you feel like you've got your floor plan all set, we're going to click save and apply. And then after you click apply, this little preview is gonna come up here. It gives you like a little general look at your uh, downstairs and upstairs floor plan. And then there is a wire frame where it doesn't have all of the words and other things. It's just the walls and doors. And then down here you have a layered floor plan, so it has everything there. It even has like your sizes and everything. All right, and we're gonna close that window and we're gonna hit save over here on your floor plan. And then we're gonna close that. And now if you go over here back to your main window before you click edit, you have this uh, option for add-ons. In the add-ons, you can see here that you have schematic floor plan. You'll click on there. And then you can see you can have some of these different attributes or not. You can have the background uh, white or none. And it only gives you one floor plan style here. And then you can have some different languages if you so desire. If you want to just do a quick floor plan preview, you'll click there. And you can see your two different floor plans, how they'll look. If you felt like there was something not correct here, you can click on draw and that'll take you back to the floor plan editor. Um, and then when you're all ready, you'll click download. It'll tell you that's gonna come as a zip file. It's gonna stay in the unlimited downloads for seven days. After seven days, a cost will be required. Uh, the first generation takes time. They're gonna notify you by email when you're all set. And then you'll have a floor plan that you can share with people and add it to your tour and so on and so forth. I want to thank everyone for joining me for the Real C console tutorial today. Thanks for joining Film Sandwich and have a good one.